Hi guys and welcome to another episode from Family Worldwide Adventures. Today we're doing something a bit out of the ordinary. We've come down to Bransby Horses, which is one of our local charities, to uh, obviously uh, show you this vlog and obviously give you some ideas of visiting the uh, complex. Bransby Horses is really what it says. It's all about equines, horses and donkeys. They are, and it's a playground, obviously, because yeah, Mill Millie knows about it. Cause she's been here for a few times. Yeah. So it is a rescue centre for donkeys and horses. There's a couple in Lincolnshire. There's Red Wings, which is further towards uh, Skegness Way, Market Raisin, and we've got this one, which is near Lincoln, which is Bransby Horses. So Millie has been here a few times, so we know it, and we do come here now and again, and obviously support the local charity. It is free admission here, which is really good. So obviously, one way you can support the charity is by eating here, and obviously eating. Uh, sorry, buying stuff. Donating. Eat, donating. Eating. Yeah, you can do all sorts. I know you can do similar things at Red Wings. So and they also do um, kid trials, which you, the money goes towards the place as well. Yeah. So we'll just pan the camera around because we're just coming up to this main site. And it is a gorgeous looking area. It's a really nice part of Lincolnshire. It's all flat, flat round here, so. And actually, where the horses are during the day, the paddocks, they are absolutely massive here. That is a really big plus, I must admit. It's a, it's a nice area. And that's it really. So here we are at Bransby Horses in Lincolnshire. So, We'll join you again once we get inside. So firstly we're in the shop, so as you can see there's lots of merchandise, Millie tends to pick up her usual pencils, rubbers etc here, but obviously all the money from from the shop itself does go towards a charity so it's really good place to uh, support it. And there's all sorts, there's money boxes, pictures, cards, everything. Have you seen anything, Millie, you want? I'm going to come back later. We're going to come back later, yeah. Um, yeah, nice cups. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? The area where Steph has just come from, that is the courtyard which has the uh, outside eating areas plus the restaurant and, and you obviously access that 
from the uh, entrance reception shop. And there is a gift tap, uh, tap shop here now, isn't there? On the ICT so yeah, we're just uh, in the outer parts where the paddocks are and Millie has already found the next pixie. Oh, it's enormous this time. Because this is part of the challenge uh, when you get in. If you want to, you can do the trail and the kids get a prize and as part of the prize, you've got to go around the actual site and find all the pixies and gnomes. And this time, it's Bennington, is it? Or is it Book? Which book one? Is book Bennington. Oh, book Bennington. So yeah, every time we've been here, the, the kids have a trail, and you've got to pay for that. But it is actual free entry to the site. But as you can see, there's an adventure playground in the background there. What Steph's filming. And obviously, you've just got the start of the paddocks. And to be honest, that paddock is tiny compared to some of the other ones. They're absolutely massive here, aren't they? And it is a lovely area. If you look on top of the building, see the uh, pantile barns, so in keeping with the actual Lincolnshire area. It is such a lovely area. And as I try a little information about which horses they've rescued and which ones they've got here as well. Yeah, and I know there is on uh, one part of the site, it actually goes into the history of Grandby Horses and the person who actually started it all many years ago. And, uh, it's amazing from one house you've now got all this and it, it is dedicated to uh, obviously making equines rescuing them and uh, obviously sorting their issues out and then obviously rehoming them which is what we do here as well rehome equines and Millie's doing what she normally does. Oh, is that another one? Yeah, Tom. Yeah, she's found the next one already. But it's so quiet, you can hear the birds, can't you, Steph? Mm, it's lovely. And here's one of the paddocks, and we have heard the donkeys already giving it some in the background. And there's Millie. She's found another one already. You're supposed to take your time, Millie. So enthusiastic, aren't you, with your trails? So what's this one called? It is Pumpet Pineapple. Pineapple? Yeah, there's a gnome. Yeah, it looks like that. So let's just have a look on your trail. They've all got pictures, haven't they? So, yeah. Yeah, you were right. It's that one there. So, do you want to write the name? So, this is actually good, really, for Kids. testing the children, isn't it? The kids, you know, with different names, what they wouldn't see in the school. Huh? And what's the word? Pompey. I haven't heard of that name too often. Pompey. Pompey, yeah, with a Y on the end. So yeah, just here is the overflow car park. The main car park is already full. Oh, and here you go, the donkeys. And as you can see, it's a lovely paddock here. Absolutely lovely the site is. It's not your typical zoo when they're uh, hemmed into little uh, Paddocks and avers, etc. It's lovely. But we are lucky in Lincolnshire, aren't we? Because obviously we've got this place which is a massive area, isn't it? And the, the animals are looked after. But you've also got Yorkshire wildlife, haven't you, with the lions with massive enclosures yeah, as well? Not too far from here. Yeah, uh, Yorkshire wildlife. Is uh, the other side of Doncaster, isn't it? Yeah. Mum, Dad, I think I spotted another one. So, yeah, we are a bit blessed in the, this part of the UK, aren't oh, we? We've got sundown as well, that's not bad. And I know it's not animal based, but something for kids. Yeah. Look at Millie's enthusiasm just off there running because she's seen the next one already. <laughs> 
I mean Millie used to love going sundown but she's outgrown it now because she likes the more thrill ride. <laughs> Roller coasters. Roller coasters. Yeah but like I say you can see the other side of Millie is she's very much a kid at heart but she loves thrill rides doesn't she as well. Yes. Found another one, is it? Oh, it's a fairy this time, isn't it? It's a fairy tale. Is it? What's she called? Um, it looks like it's called by Oh, is it Arella Sunrise? Yeah, but it's a Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's that one. If you say it's that one, Millie, yeah. it's that one. So, I've hey, just hey. got a map of the site. So, there you go. I say it's so quiet here, you can hear the birds and I was here's another paddock with more donkeys in. I said the inhabitants do change during the year because obviously they are obviously rescuing them, rehabilitating them and then obviously rehoming. I mean, we've been here before haven't we, we've only been like a few haven't we? Yeah. Well, to be honest, really nobody wants to see places like this because you'd think we actually look after animals correctly. Mm. But I'm sorry to say, like with the RSPCA, with dogs, cats, etc., it just doesn't happen with the human race, which is really sad. But yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? So quiet. And it is a charity worth giving for Dansby Horses. We certainly fully endorse it, don't we, on Family Worldwide? Mm. It's a brilliant shower right. too. Right. A nice family time as well because there's picnic benches so you can have picnics and just spend quality time together. Yeah, that's it. You can bring your own food or obviously yeah, if you eat on site at the restaurant it's actually helping the yeah. charity as well, isn't it? So, so then. Buy sweets and sweet cups. Yeah, I'll buy sweets, yeah. Well, if you want, like, obviously, gift on the uh, sponsor a horse or a donkey, innit? Yeah. And you can even sponsor. I'm, yeah. I think we got one. Right then, two, let's continue, three, see if we can find four, the next five, one, Miller, on the trail. Some good advice there. Shall we see if a donkey will come over to us, Millie? Yeah. I might not. not. Come here. Donkey, I got some treats for you. No, I've been, I've been too busy eating grass, Millie, today. It's a lovely day, isn't it? It's a lovely day in sunny Lincolnshire. Yeah, let's just get that on. There you go, Bill and Betty. I was gonna go. So yeah, that's put a nice bench in for him in this lovely area. Yeah, you can just sit and chill, can't you? Watch the world go by. Right, so since we're last we're filming, we're now in the area where there's some horses just there. And over in this paddock over here, there's some Shetland ponies. So as you can see, they do have all types of horses, equines, etc. here. Have you found another? Oh yeah, we, <laughs> we found another one on the trail, haven't we Millie? Yeah. 
still got quite a few to find, don't we? How many have we got to find? Yeah, how many have we got to find now? How many's left One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, eleven. Still plenty then, isn't there? Yeah. Wait, well, wait, Dad, there could be some in the playground. Yeah, well, yes. Millie keeps going on about the playground, so she says, ooh, there could be some there. Well, we'll get there eventually, Millie. How about that? Your own family will ride adventures. Hello, you're beautiful, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know what yeah. name is. I call her Brownie. Brownie? Yeah, Yeah. You're beautiful, you are, aren't you? Yeah, because she's brown. Yeah, there's no name plaque on this one, is there? So we don't know what you're called. Just call him Brownie. Right. As you can see, this is another massive paddock. Are we? So, yeah. I think I just found one. And I was easing with another horse or Shetland horse. over there. Because we're just in the middle of the area at the moment. There's a lot of Shetland ponies Guys. in the various paddocks around here, isn't there? Yeah. Guys, did you know I, can, I saw another one? Oh, Millie's found another one. So as you can see, we've just walked down this massive trail just in the middle of Bransby Horses. And here there is also this building called the Lodge. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and here we go. Millie's found another one on her Norman Fair request called Flint Fungi and in this area you can like say eat outside have a chill out and there is the playground just over there oh I can see another one Millie yeah I can see it I'll go I'm just riding it so I think we're going to go in here and have a five minute breather so as you can see we're near to the entrance area where the courtyard is and obviously there's still the rest of the site going right over there into the distance past the edges so Millie's as usual probably going to end up in the playground so we'll can I wait I know I've seen that one on the fence Oh, right in the distance, yeah. Right, so we'll probably see you when Millie has been in the playground again. So, on with the trail. What was that, Millie? Oh, she's found something. So, we're on with the trail, as I was saying. Oh yes, I agree. That must be because you're doing well with the trail, Millie. Wait, what did it say? It said, well done, Amelia. <laughs> so how are you doing with your trail? Oh, here's another one. Lula Lolly. Is she a gnome or a pixie? A pixie. A pixie. Do you want to just pull it away, Melissa, so we can see her? Oh, yeah, she's definitely a pixie. Yeah. So we've just found out, because we've been looking at some of the information boards, Bransby's actually expanding now. They're actually uh, at two operational sites, both open to the public. So, yeah, it's good to see charities expanding even after the pandemic. So it's really good and obviously that is mainly the support of the public visiting them sponsoring them 
and obviously they are eating. But as you can see, it's a lovely site. It's just, it's just massive. So what we might have to do is maybe think about going to the other operational site at some point. Right. Oh yes, there's decorations scattered around the site as well. There you go. Obviously with the theming of gnomes and fairies. That's quite quirky. Again, some more seating. Obviously in memory of uh, a loved one. Well, it's such a vast area, you know, and the paddocks are just massive. I'm in pristine condition. And obviously all the animals are in uh, either in good condition or being rehabilitated. And they've got shelters as well for them to go in. Yeah, they've got shading, haven't they? It is quite a unique premises, to be honest. I do like it here. Do you like it, Emily? Yeah. Do you like it here? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it helps having a playground as well. Because Millie's just spent about half an hour in there, Steph. Yeah, something like that. One thing they do specify here, though, is no feeders. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to buy feed because they don't actually allow feeding of the uh, equines here. Because obviously our field is not designated for hot equines, for horses, shepherd ponies, donkeys, etc. To be honest, though, you don't see any horses because you don't know what they're on or what they're allergic to. Or... Yeah, it's like obviously equines. Everybody thinks. Equines can eat uh, apples, and to be honest, apples is really bad for horses because it can bring on colic, etc. So you've got to be careful what you do for eating. Miller, you want some Pringles? Can you see them over there, Miller? Yeah. Oh, well, they're gorgeous looking, aren't they? Now you go this way on the trail to see if we can find some of your gnomes and pixies. It's the right way. And obviously if you look over there, there's loads of stables. Obviously, because it's an operational site as well. And they have yards for obviously with the rehabilitating the horses, etc. Well, it is a lovely area. I can't, under, I can't underestimate how nice it is. Uh, fine sunny day in Lincolnshire and it's just so peaceful and quiet and Millie's found another one and it's a gnome Sun Flora What's that? It's just got our benches and our trees planted. Yeah, one thing we've noticed around the site, they do, uh, you can have people who uh, you want to remember. I was remembered by uh, plaques. This one's a tree and obviously there's a seat in as well. So yeah, it's really good to see that and obviously it helps the charity as well at the same time, but also loving memory of relatives. And here we have one of the smaller residents. Oh yes, I know. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Hello. How are you? Are you cheating and eating on the other side of the fence? 
Hej. Well, that is the end of our day at Bransby Horses. So what did you think, Millie? How did you do with the trail first? I got them all, Daddy. You got them all? Well, let's just have a look at the evidence. Oh, yes, well done. Well done, Millie. And so smart. And I got a big stick on the wall. Big sticker book. You got a sticker book as well. And what did you buy from the shop? Yeah, she got an LED unicorn light up pen. Yeah. And we also donated one pound fifty for a lucky dip. Oh right. And did you, you win? What's in it. Oh, so have they done the draw yet? No, it's um a kid's prize, so she's got to open it. All oh, right. So there you go. And you got another drink. Uh -huh. Well, it is warm here. I got another fruit. Yeah. So have you enjoyed your day? Mhm. Yeah. Well, when we're gonna come back? Well, I dare say you'll be back before me because I know you and Mum like to spend some quality time down here and clearing your heads and obviously donate into the cause, isn't it? So there you go, that is Bransby Horses. So obviously we support this, so we will put the links for the charity on the end of the vlog, yeah, because we do like it here and we, we only... Uh, and do endorse certain charities etc <laughs> also while we're on uh, a bit of bookkeeping or whatever you want to call it can you please click the subscribe button yeah because we sort of got stuck at the moment on our uh, subscribers and i know quite a few other people uh, have said on their vlogs people who actually uh, view the vlogs think you need to pay to subscribe you don't do what? subscribing is completely free so Please subscribe, click the not notification bell, and obviously, big thumbs up. So from us, see you later.